Shoreline set up an ambush by the plane. They didn't. And what makes you so sure? Because they're heading to the mountain for the treasure. Jesus, Sam sounds like he got out of a disappointing surgery. And my jump. There we go. <laughs> Go! Jump off, quick! Hey, give me a hand! Oh. Come on! Here we go. Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Come on, just jump, I'll catch you! Alright. Uh oh! Oh my god, he's so bothered by the treasure. No, no, don't you even think about it! <laughs> no! Yeah. God, please, no! All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Oh Sam. my god. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. Fine. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Hey, we can get over that wall with this. So we are someone helping. Here, we got you. You ready? Okay, guys. You guys are gonna find another way. How the hell are we supposed to get up there? We don't have enough time. Nate? No? Not by yourself? Look, I'll come right back, okay? Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight. Well, then I'll fight him if I have to, but either way, I'm bringing him back. Just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can. And be ready for a quick getaway. Like there's another kind? It's not fair. Do the dishes and take turns. Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Goodbye. 
Bye. I'm back alone. Same to you, cowboy. <laughs> Alright, let's go get my brother. Probably slap. <sighs> Chapter 21. Brother's keeper. I'm the keeper of my brother? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Brown. I almost drowned. Yikes. Okay, we're almost done here? This is the last of them, man. Oh, no. Good. If we are it, we can catch up with the others. Sir. Is that Sam? Yeah. Sam. Oh, Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's had a very good shit. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those you want have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men have been. <laughs> oh. What? Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is. Oh, we're finishing it all right. What? Sorry, ma'am. Wow. Damn, she got betrayed badly. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Wow! Now come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. Not a girl. Is she even gonna. By all means. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe. Yep, that's true. I guess I am. Not everyone. Things people do for trash. Bam, bam, bam. Here? Oh. Hello? Oh. Sam? Look at that. There's your treasure. Look at all the riches in paradise here. God damn. That's worth it. Sam? Where's your Sam? Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Oh my god! Sam! Sam? Relax, he's alive. Well, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Right what? He has the treasure, right? Just let me save my brother. <laughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you. But no. We stay here any longer. We're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <laughs> oh my god. Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. 
Hand it over. You really think you can trust yeah. Huh? Not your concern. Now why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are partners. I don't screw over my partners. What? That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Or we can just end it right here. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you... Uh -huh. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? <laughs> I won't ask you. Yeah, she's you. not gonna mess around. You already betrayed her trust. You yeah, she's probably gonna leave us all to die. Profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing. No! Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Oh my god. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. What, you're just leaving us here to die? Yeah. Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Yeah. Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. I'm not going to be able to enjoy. Uh oh. One of these coins. Knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking in here. Oh, I just. Just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, <laughs> just shut up. Yeah, he's not And I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up stop it! Oh my god. Mm. Uh, looks like we're fighting sword for sword. About right. the three of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join me. On guard. That's the spirit. Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure rape. It's all yours. Oh my god! You are dead, dead, dead. You are dead, dead, dead. Oh yeah, I should murder him. Hey, come on, let's get him. 
try this. It's no use. Try it again. It's no use. Come on. Take this. Damn it. Listen. Damn it, Sam. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Sam, we did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. I'm not letting you die, Sam. You gotta go. There's gonna be some. Gotta go. It's tough. There is no other way. Thank you, Sully. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sully. Thank you. Hope you drink. Bye, Sully. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny. Bye, Sully. Anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what are you telling her? Just about your little bunny, please. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? <laughs> Go on, tell her. You ate the grape. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually doing pretty good. Uh huh. Hey, look, Sam. It has been. An experience getting to meet you. With a handshake? What? I'm meaning for the real thing, sister. You take care of this numbers girl, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join yeah. you in a sec. Yeah. Okay. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We talked about, about it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, man, but... I just kind of thought that after we found Harry's treasure, I'd be... satisfied. Uh, Instead, I've, uh... <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of... Emptiness. Yeah. yeah well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end... I was left with that same feeling. Sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, that's true. I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, 
Now you got a few ancient cities on me, and I can't let that slide. So yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you've come far. We sure have. Ah, brother love. I swear you're peeing in the blood. All right. Get out of here, Vemos. Now what? Hey, Sully. So, Victor, what's next for you? Hmm? Hmm. Well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Mm. Dangerous? Mm -hmm. With these people, yeah. What's up there? Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Wow! Oh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando o senhor mandou voltar para casa? O que eu mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. So now it's half going to do it. So. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. <laughs> okay. And there's Nathan. By the way, this episode might be longer because... <sighs> hey, good morning. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. You okay, sir? <laughs> ah. All right, I'll bite. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marie. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that, I guess I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. We drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a uh, mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you going to stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yep. So it was the sap who's gonna buy this place. Oh, uh, you are. What? What? <laughs> oh, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. <laughs> hey. Sorry, what? Morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Hey, all you need to know <laughs> is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. So they bought the place. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you're, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh. Huh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it would be right up our no, alley. No. Hi, right, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Hey, taking an illegal job? If you know what that leads to. You said it was illegal. <laughs> look. This came in this morning. What is that? Is this legit? Yeah. <laughs> Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Yeah. Hold out your hand. Huh? Hold out your hand. Come on. Come on, listen to your wife food. Oh my crap. Where did you well, go? Well then. It was in my jacket pocket. 
along with a bunch more. What? Bunch? <laughs> Sam. Anyway, Tomara. Action. <laughs> yeah. Of course, most of them are going to have to go into our venture here, along with all the new camera. Just bring out here. Camera? Here? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew to film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just... Living a normal life. She doesn't want it. In our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. <laughs> I missed us. Oh. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. How sweet. Well then. But from here on out, we are going to operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. <laughs> wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. Hey, Queen. Girl, you have done it again. Constantly raising the bar for us all. Hey, listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement. That'd be cruel. Right. It's not gonna be easy. Nothing worthwhile is. So. What are you saying? The kids are so adorable. Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diamond. Okay, <laughs> fine. We'll take turns. Or I could play for it. Seriously? No, it's not paper. Just saying. I'm getting good. No, my hand is way I better than it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot do that. so cute. Are you afraid to blame me? I am so not. Afraid on a scale of one to ten, how scared are you? Like a three. Yeah. <laughs> Jack that up to like eleven. All right, because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fine. You're on. Uh. Oh, we're back with this. How do I get this in here? They forgot it. Bruh. They made it for us. Not bad. Not like the best one, but the train. What's going on? Are we lost? The doggy! Oh, you are. Where are they? That's a cute puppy. I mean, well, it's not a puppy, it's a giant ass clipper dog. Yes! Oh, I guess we're gonna look for a kid. I don't know. That's me. We're sitting in a tiny cafe oh, in the middle of a busy Havana street. Jane, Sawyer coming to visit. Drinking what might be the best goddamn espresso I've had in my life. No job, no one chasing us, or time is weird. Good, but weird. Sam says, tell him to stock up the fridge with literally less crappy beer before we arrive. His words, not mine. Sam is also reminding me that you lost a bet to both of us. Twelve months and counting with no smoking. And I'm in Cuba, for God's sakes. That's how good I've been. Anyway, send the girls our love. Tell Cassie to warm up the back and look back, up, back again on the board. I want my rematch. To see the gang in a couple of weeks. Your pal, Look at these two. Man, Sully is pretty old. You want your food? You hungry? All right. But just this one. <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, but no more food. You're doing pretty cute. Hmm. I left his keys. 
left his keys. To what? Huh. Awesome. Let's take a look at There's it. There's no way. There's just no way. She's about to uncover all her mommy and daddy's secrets. Whoa. Let's see. Where can we even start? The book. Hello. God. Evelyn bought a first edition of a general and history of pirates from a collector on a stack of 18th century documents. Among them, I found a very intriguing letter from Joseph Burns, who only admits to being a crewman on Henry Avery's ship and possibly hints at Avery vast treasure. What else could the riches of paradise refer to? If he sent this letter from prison, he clearly didn't have the church with him. So where is he? To trace it back to the source, he may labor his attack on the ghost. <laughs> I have a nice copy of Jones. Jones way heist. Yeah, has copy of his passages and not seen any later. Did you go looking for Avery's treasure? If I'm able to trace this room, perhaps I can discern where Avery's treasure might be. Henry Avery. Uh, Henry Avery lived in 1659-1699. Elias Benjamin Bridgman, Long Man, Pirate King, and Arch Pirate. Great and mobile church ship, Girls Way, and Vanish Way, and Soul Man, and Church Ship. May have teamed up with other pirates in Madagascar, which is to attack ship, also looking to Thomas II, Richard I, William Mays, perhaps not this general history is known to be both embell embellishment and outright fabrication, but there's more truth in those pages than people suspect. Where did he go? No idea the ship burns was on God blow, of course, in a storm, and they were captured by Spaniards in Panama, bad luck. And it wasn't good at hiding his tracks. I feel like I'm going down the wrong road here. It's clear the best and only hope on finding Avery's treasure is our friends Burns. Have to team up on Panama. In more digging Burns, letters mention the highest tower, and there's only one semi intact Spanish prison in Panama, but the tower probably our best place to start. Problem one the Panamanian government built a new prison next to the old one. The worst of the worst criminals are kept there. Problem two, Panama is ruled by a dictator who no doubt will be sympathetic with our goals. Had a long and stuck discussion with Evelyn regarding to the difficulties of prison's location presents to her. She said she'll come up with a plan, but I do not feel she will be fully considering prison well, let alone her health. I don't know, my health. Sir Francis Drake, setting aside the I mean, burns, Avery and Clyde for now. Beginnings. Too much work left to do, Sir Francis. A few weeks before I present my findings, I'll probably laugh at my face again, so be it. <laughs> Hey, there you are. Hey. They're looking for you. Uh. What are you doing here? Uh, hi. Uh, uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um. Uh, What's up, Cassie? <laughs> Sorry, mommy, daddy, I accidentally discovered your stuff. Okay. Don't be mad. Hey, I said don't be mad. Keys. Sorry. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hmm. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy. Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a. A silver skull of some kind. Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Hey. Me? It's time to have a talk. Yeah, it's totally time. <laughs> Wait, which talk are we talking about here? Bruh. She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of this. That's different. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. 
But I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, uh, funny. Mom? Just tell me the story, Daddy. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on. You know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty that's much right. it. Yeah. Oh, language. language. Crap. Better. Alright, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up. Boat's ready. Wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. <laughs> yeah, just his journal. With a map to Eldorado. The City of Gold? That's the legend. Turned out it was just a statue. A cursed statue. No, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But then, I'll get back to that. Let's see. The map was to Obviously, that picture over here must be from the old journey. It's just that the forefront is the first one I played, so I have a little bit of the first three games. And, like, I don't have that much of a Well then, that was it. We finally finished Uncharted Part of Dave's End. It's been a really long time since I started this. And I finally get to finish it. Wow. Great game, by the way. I am very impressed by this game. And I love the ending. About how Nathan Drake has settled down as a family now. It's pretty nice. Um, but yeah. Let's talk about Uncharted for a Deep I guess. Uh, I love the story. Um, about the journey of two brothers trying to find a treasure. At first, it seemed like Sam was, you know, being in trouble for real, but then we discovered that he was lying this whole time, and the real reason of finding the treasure was because of their mother. Um, you know, it, it, I guess it was. It was just the crazy to think about that. I don't know. Like, and I love the journey. I love the, the transition between when they were kids and when they were adults. You know, and how step by step they Nathan, in this case, for Sam, I doubt he ever matured because Nathan would, like, you know, be mature himself and. And see things in a different perspective, I guess. I don't know. The story was very great. I loved the relationship he has with all the characters, including Sam. Sam was a total pain in the ass, but Nathan does care about Sam. I love the relationship between him and Elena. It's very cute, very nice, and I love that um, they were able to fix their, their relationship whatsoever. Uh, and I love the relationship between him and Sully, like that romance. <laughs> like, um, you know, very great friends whatsoever. And the enemy characters like Nadine, um, like I really hated her until the end where I felt like sympathy for her in that sort of sense because she was willing to just get the treasure that she could get and not like risk her life any further or risk her man's life and don't her name betraying her name, which is pretty stupid. Um, and then Rafe just lost his crap as well. Um, I really didn't like Rafe as much as a villain. He was kind of stupid for me, but eh, what the hell. 
<laughs> you know, in terms of the gameplay itself, I really do like the combat system and I think they give you the options to operate because otherwise it would be a failure to percent well, 100% right now. And uh, I love the combat, I love the economy, just your guns, you know, you have weapons to do all the time. I love the partner system. And, uh, and, uh, you know, whenever you're in danger, they're not just like standing there doing nothing. They actually do help you in, in many ways. It was pretty nice. Um, and the puzzles were pretty interesting. Um, and for me, I thought they were going to be hard, but they never felt hard for me. They were pretty simple puzzles. It's just that they made it look hard. But for me, there were never. Um, but yeah, I really like this game. Now, one of the bad things that Uncharted 4 has is like the bugs and the glitches that it has. We didn't encounter some bugs and glitches. Um, I really hate it sometimes when you were climbing and stuff, then they can um, move, like be unresponsive and get yourself accidentally killed or move yourself like from one place to another you're like no you, I want you to go this way and you're like, trying to get to this way and then you're like going the wrong way and that was a little bit frustrating as well um but yeah uh but overall that's the only problems I found myself um for everything that just ha just happened um but yeah I would definitely give this game a 9 out of 10. By the way, I, I also forgot the voice acting was really well made. The actors gave it all. And Troy Baker, one of my favorite actors, Lisa Samuel, he did a really good job. And Laura Bailey was also in the game. Uh, she did Nadine's voice. I know her as well. They did a pretty good job. And props to them. They, they gave it their all, and I love it. Um, really did a good job. Um, and then, like I said, this game is definitely a 9 out of 10. And the reason why is because of those tiny issues that I just mentioned. Like, I think we're going to perfect a little bit the mechanics in terms of climbing and stuff like that. Maybe it would have been better. And, uh, yeah. It was a really fun experience. And I really did enjoy it. I don't know what, get, what else gets to happen now. But is there anything else that happens? I like, we already saw the epilogue with the daughter. Oh, that's another thing. This is supposed to be the last Uncharted game, but that's what they always say. But then they're probably working on another Uncharted project. Is the next Uncharted game going to be now with Nathan Drake's daughter, or is there going to be an Uncharted Five where it's a grandpa Nathan Drake? For me, an a good Uncharted 5 would be Nathan Drake's daughter, but Nathan being in the game as well, but this time not being like the character you play as, but more about a, 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 another important character, like Sully, who, who is like that person who's going to be supporting the protagonist. That would be a good game. Hold on. By the way, I had to skip the freaking credits. I'm cutting a lot of the credits out. It's just it's so long as credits. But that's it. That's pretty much it. Uncharted 4 games in. 9 out of 10. Um, I hope in the future to play the first three Uncharted games just to know a little bit more about the characters. I feel like there's, you know, there's so much that I missed from the characters that I really should have known, but I didn't really. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Uncharted 4. Thank you guys for sticking your eyes on the series. I'm sorry for making this last episode long. I just did not expect it. It was just a little adventure. The rest is just cutscenes and cutscenes and cutscenes. So yeah, I can't like cut a lot of this. I cannot cut those stuff out. If you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you do. And also, leave your thoughts on this game. And if you really love to see me play in the future on Charter 1, 2, 3, and, and Lost Legacy also, let me know and I'll give it a try. But that'll be it for me now. And Charter, the next series, and I'll take you the next new series. I don't know which one's going to be yet, but yeah. Thank you guys again, and that'll be it. I'll see you in the next one.